from the SiliconANGLE Media office in Boston, Massachusetts. It's the Cube. Now, here's your host, Dave Vellante. Hi, everybody. This is Dave Vellante, and welcome to this Cube conversation. I'm here with Dave Faithful, who is the chief architect at WEI, and we're going to chat about intelligence storage and specifically HPE intelligence storage. Uh, storage. Dave, good to see you again. Thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. All right, so HPE uses this, you know, everybody has these cool marketing terms, intelligent storage, intelligent storage platform. It sounds pretty cool. Um, what's it all about? Well, HPE has, um, HP has, has done a really good job at developing um, uh, their storage platform to leverage uh, AI and machine learning and deliver some useful analytics and information to their customers. And here's what they're doing. Um, they are, from a machine learning perspective, taking their entire install base of storage devices, gathering that information, not personal information such as you know, what the data is that sits on the storage, but more of the performance. We understand it's this type of application, it's this type of, uh, of data, uh, and here's how it performs across all these different environments, and they're sharing that with their customers to say, if you have this type of data on your storage, here's the optimal performance settings to be able to, uh, to get the most out of your storage and the best performance. Additionally, they're using AI machine learning, that, that same idea, to give uh, customers heads up on when they might run into trouble, either from a, um, a break fix perspective, you know, for instance, you've got some drives that may be failing, you've got a controller that's acting up, you've got a connectivity issue someplace, all the way to, you don't have a performance issue yet, but trends we see with your data types uh, may deliver um, subpar performance under these conditions, be aware of that. So they're giving insight to, um, to their customers uh, by leveraging everything that they're learning across their entire install base, which is pretty neat. And they're taking that same capability that they have on storage and applying that to their compute environments as well. So think about, um, think about this from, from, from an HP perspective, they're able to give their customers through their InfoSight uh, application, the ability to see uh, and discover performance issues and constraints uh, well before it ever happens to avoid customers from having to find that out the hard way. So this is a really good example of, of, of the application of AI. We talk about AI like it's some mysterious thing. It's really machine <laughs> intelligence and, and machine learning. And, and I think it's a practical application because it's, it's relatively narrow. You're talking about predictive analytics around infrastructure and being able to you know, identify potential hotspots taking the humans out of the equation to do some of that stuff that is really not value add for the business, freeing up time to mm -hmm. do some other things. Is that the right way to think about it? That's exactly the right way to think about it. You're absolutely right. Um, with this type of, of intelligence, you don't need to have IT administrators uh, uh, digging through logs to try to figure out where performance problems are after they've already occurred. Instead, you're getting this information before it ever occurs and you're able to head it off at the pass. So, I liked uh, the Nimble acquisition by HPE. The one thing you, know, you like about Nimble, you think Nimble, you think InfoSight. Correct. One of the other things I like about the acquisition is, if I understand it correctly, they've, they, and I think you pointed this out, they drove that technology across its entire portfolio. And you think about 3PAR, HPE made the 3PAR acquisition, uh, gosh, 10 years ago now, mm -hmm. to 2010. And that was kind of the gold standard for simplicity, for high-end storage. They had great metadata reports, and, and now, you know, Nimble, you fast forward has a sort of modern version of that with with AI and predictive analytics. The fact that HPE has taken that and pushed it across the portfolio, and I think even into into compute, into servers as well, is it, it's an impressive you know use of a technology. Sometimes companies buy tech and they just it sits there for years and they don't do anything with it. So your thoughts on that? Yeah, no, I, I think it's I think you're absolutely right. Uh, HPE did it right. They leveraged this technology to add additional value to their compute platforms, such as their ProLine brands and their Synergy platform. So uh, it's the it's it's uh, it's a very smart thing to do, and it's a very good use of that technology from the Nimble acquisition. Um, and you know, uh, 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 you can see where HPE is heading, right? With you know, predictive analytics across their entire portfolio. So it's all about that that insight to information, right? And be able to uh, head off problems before they occur. Yet at the same time, how do we optimize or you know automatically optimize our environments based on all of this this information, which organizations never had um, uh, you know access to before? So. 
WEI, you guys are a trusted partner of your customers. You work with large customers, they, they look to you. You're not trying to jam a specific solution down their throat. You, know, you think of a financial advisor, you know, oh, here's an insurance policy. Well, if, if they're getting a VIG on that insurance policy, you go, oh, wait a minute. You guys have to be agnostic. So my question to you as a sort of a trusted advisor is, what's the sweet spot for HPE storage? Where is its, you know, best fit? <laughs> Uh, that's a trick question, right? No. Uh, <laughs> the, um, it really depends on the platform. So, you know, uh, it, when we talk about Nimble um, and we talk about InfoSight, you know, it, it, there is a market segment that that fits well in, mm -hmm. um, uh, as well as, you know, the, the same could be said for 3 par. Uh, for example, and and now with their new release of the Primera storage platform, you know I, I think you'll see a lot more adoption. But one of the things that all of those platforms have in common is the ability to connect into data center automation and provisioning um, strategies. And so that's where, uh, from our perspective, from WEI's perspective, the value that we're adding around customers is how do we architect that that IT service delivery model that's cloud-like in nature, and what are the platforms that uh, allow us to easily enable those, those provisioning models. So irrespective of the, the, the vendor name on the bezel, what are you looking for in a, in a storage platform? Well, what we're, again, what we're looking for is the ability to, uh, to do a couple things. One, to easily integrate into uh, a provisioning model, right, and to automation. Right. Are they? You know, are uh, are there investments made by the OEM into the API calls that we can now uh, leverage to connect to either public services or to uh, on-prem compute resources and to uh, software-defined networking and other areas that we that you know that we need to connect to when we're we're kind of creating those mile two, mile three automation. Uh, automations that you know uh, uh, th that enable those provisioning models. Um, you know the other thing we're looking for, of course, is availability, reliability, um, uh, you know, and performance. So you know, selecting the right storage platform based on the customer need, based on cost, are the things that you know that, that go into that. But you're absolutely right. We're designing architectures at WAI. Uh, based on customers' business needs, right? Based on how well it fits into their environment and how well that they can uh, maintain those, um, you know, those cloud-like IT service delivery models. And uh, once we've understood what those business requirements are, what the IT requirements are, what their relationships with different services might be, and their preferences for for different types of automations, then we work with them to introduce the right storage platform. And HP has a nice portfolio of uh, storage platforms that fit into many, many different hybrid cloud and hybrid IT environments. All right, good stuff. Dave, thanks for taking us through sort of your perspectives on HPE, uh, specifically in storage in general. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. This is Dave Vellante with theCUBE.